It's showtime in Europe's largest dolphinarium. The marine aquarium in Valencia, Spain is a tourist magnet with dolphins performing tricks in formation. The aquarium says the dolphin shows help promote environmental protection and education. Some children have never seen the ocean. For these children, getting to see animals up close is very important. The emotional element is also fundamental to the experience. The opportunity to see dolphins is a powerful educational tool. Large groups of children come here on school outings to learn about the underwater creatures. Animal rights activists say such educational arguments are little more than window dressing. The aquarium is a big business, and the animals are part of their profit-making machine. We head for Tenerife, one of the Canary Islands. Teo Lucas is an animal rights activist and elementary school teacher who is opposed to dolphinariums. Soon after we set sail, a school of dolphins begins following our boat. Teo Lucas says he would never take his students to a dolphin show. Instead, he organizes boat tours so that children can see the marine mammals in their natural environment, rather than in captivity. When you talk to children about freedom or about family, they understand exactly what you mean. If you ask them, what if I removed you from your environment, your home, your family, would you like that? All of them say no. The dolphin shows are a mainstay of Spain's tourism industry. There are four dolphinariums on the Canary Islands already and another one is being built on Lanzarote. Teo Lucas says that dolphins suffer in the aquariums. Constant stress makes the dolphins aggressive toward the weaker animals in the group. It's only hunger that makes them obey the trainers. Here in Aqualand, visitors can pay for a private show where they get to dangle their legs in the water. It's a lucrative sideline for the aquarium, so they shrug off the disease risk it poses to the animals. For these marine mammals, the Canary Islands are a kind of Guantanamo. There are more than 20 dolphins being held in captivity here, just in this small region. Dolphins are wild animals and they love freedom. They're always on the move, they never stay still. How can we take an animal that normally travels great distances in the ocean and hold it captive in a tank? That's a question Aqualand prefers to avoid. ASPRO, the company that operates the Dolphinarium, won't grant interviews. The Madrid-based company operates dozens of leisure parks across Europe, with more than 2,000 year-round employees in all. The company earns millions, thanks in part to the controversial dolphin shows. Another Spanish dolphin show operator, Parques Reunidos, became a publicly listed company in spring last year. Revenue was 580 million euros in 2016. The company owns 100 dolphins and six orcas. It turned down requests for interviews. This business model is increasing the number of animals held in captivity. When a child visits a park like this and sees a dolphin or a parrot, they don't go home with a new appreciation for environmental protection. Instead, they ask their father, buy me a parrot or a hamster. Captivity just leads to more captivity. There are alternatives to theme parks. The waters around the Canary Islands are rich in marine life. like pilot whales. A boat tour usually costs less than admission to a theme park. For the visitors, 
It's a chance to see the animals in their natural environment. 